Hello, this will be a video of the vessel, the large vessel model that we have in lab. Um, this model shows um, two veins right here and an artery in the center. And here we're seeing one of the lumens of the veins and an, another lumen of a vein and then the lumen of the artery. Um, and you can recognize that a little bit better if you have, if you view from the uh, this side right here, um, a superior view, and we're seeing the lumen of the artery right here. Um, it's much more round. There's much more smooth muscle here in the tunica media um, compared to this lumen. It's a little bit collapsed. There's less t tissue. Um, uh, the, the veins are tend to be a little bit more have less tissue, a little bit weaker, and the the um, lumen can collapse in on itself. It doesn't have to deal with as much pressure as an artery has to. Um, so it has to have more elastic fibers to deal with that pressure, and the there and the the lumen is a little bit more round. It keeps its shape. Um, so if this is the vein right here, you can see that it's going to branch out into into two veins and with the artery in the middle. So if we're just going to focus on the artery for now, um, you'll see this. This is the lumen of it, as I just said before. And then all of these uh, cells lining the inside of the lumen is called the endothelium. It's simple squamous epithelial tissue. Um, and then superficial to it is the uh, internal elastic lamina right here. So the endothelium and the um, internal elastic lamina consists of your tunica interna. Um, and then just going superficial to that, you have the tunica media with all this smooth muscle. Um, tunica media. Um, and then this tunica media has a lot of smooth muscle and no elastic fibers. Therefore, this is a muscular artery. Um, also, muscular arteries will only will always have an internal elastic lamina. Uh, here's that internal elastic lamina, a little bit, oh, sorry, a little bit better view of it right here. Um, but if this was an elastic artery, um, like I, our aorta slide, I uh, recommend that you look at um, uh, Professor Graziani's videos on the aorta uh, for histology, and you'll see that its tunica media has all these elastic fibers in there. Uh, this doesn't. Um, and just going superficial to that, then we're now entering the um, tunica externa, and it'll have an external elastic membrane. That's all this like teal right here. There's a light blue. Um, and you're also seeing it right up here too, the external elastic lamina. And then you're starting to see all of this um, connective tissue. So this fibrous and areolar um, connective tissue uh, it's like pink and then a little bit yellow. Um, then you can see it down here, um, that pink and a little bit yellow kind of blends to different uh, connective tissue. This is the tunica externa, or some people call it the adventitia. Uh, okay, now if we were to compare that over to the lumen of the vein, it's very large, there's much le less tissue to deal with. Um, we're seeing um, the endothelium, that's the only thing that consists of the tunica interna. And then you go right into a little bit of smooth muscle. And you can see down here a little bit of smooth muscle. Uh, that would be the tunica media. And then there's no external elastic lamina or anything like that. It just now starts to blend into the adventitia or tunica externa. Um, and you'll have fibrous and aerial or connective tissue here, that pink and yellow. Um, and also, you're having these venous valves um, that we're seeing, and this is going to help um, blood come up from your extremities um, and kind of relieve that pressure of gravity, um, trying to, you know, it's helping your heart a little bit and not having blood flow back the opposite way it should be going. Um, just puts less strain on your heart. Um, okay, so if let's go through the same um, layers right here so here we have the artery again you have this yellow um, these yellow cells the endothelium uh, right over a basement membrane and then you have the internal elastic membrane um, it's that white right there 
and then that would be your tunica interna. Then you have your tunica media, all that smooth muscle. Um, then you have your tunica externa right here. Um, starts a little bit of um, all that connective tissue. And you can see how it's not a perfect um, layer. Like there is a little bit of blending from the tunica media to the tunica externa as you're seeing some of the smooth muscle kind of pop out. And that's what it's trying to show. It's not a, it's not a perfect transition. Um, and then here we have the vein. Um, and remember that again, this is a muscular artery, not an elastic artery where the elastic fibers will be all within the tunica media for an elastic artery. So the vein, you have the endothelium, um, that would be your, um, that would be your tunica interna. Then you have your tunica media right here, a little bit of smooth muscle, not as much. And then eventually you get to some connective tissue where it's not a, it's not a perfect transition. It's like a blending. All right. And this is, that's the vessel model. So go ahead and study that and um, learn as best you can.